Hello and welcome. My name is Sunshine, the project manager, Sunshine Educational Resources, also known as Sunshine Academy. Welcome to our free online lessons in mathematics, chemistry, physics, biology, geography, economics, and many more subjects. In the last mathematics lesson, we went into factorization of quadratic expressions, and today we will go into factorization of quadratic equations. In the last lesson, we said that quadratic equations are equations of the form ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero, where a, b, and c are constant. And so today we're going to um, go into detail of how we can factorize quadratic equations. Quadratic equations and expressions are similar, except for the fact that the equations are, are equated to zero. Okay, but we're going to use the same method to factorize. Now, let's take for example, let's take example one. Factorize x squared minus 2x minus 3 equal to 0. Factorize x squared minus 2x minus 3 is equal to 0. Now, just like we did in the quadratic expression, for you to be able to factorize this equation, you will have to get two numbers whose product is minus 3 and whose sum is minus 2. The product of the two numbers is minus 3 and the sum is minus 2. It simply means that when you multiply the two numbers, you get minus 3, this minus 3 here, and when you sum up the numbers, you get minus 2. Now, we're just interested in the coefficient of x. We're not interested in the x here. We're just interested in the coefficient. So, when you add those two numbers, you get minus 2 which is the number we have here. So let's think of the two numbers. First, you have to look out for the two numbers, and that is why mathematics is all about dealing with numbers, okay? So let's see minus three, minus three and plus one. Minus three and plus one, let's see. Let's verify if these numbers will fit our factors. Let's see, minus 3 times 1 is equal to minus 3. Okay, now let's sum them up. Let's say minus 3 plus 1 is equal to minus 2. Rather, 1 minus 3 is minus 2. We can put it this way, it can be 1 minus 3, which is the same as minus 2. So, this verifies our numbers. So let's proceed. Let's create the bracket. Here we have x, and here we have x minus 3 and x plus 1. So let's multiply them out just to verify if our factors are correct. x times x, you have x squared. x times plus 1 is plus x minus 3 times x is minus 3x and minus 3 times plus 1 is minus 3. So x square x minus 3x is minus 2x minus 3. So it verifies our original equation which is x square minus 2x minus 3. So that's correct. So all this is equal to zero. So it means that our factors x minus 3 into x plus 1 is equal to zero. So it means that each of these brackets can be equated to zero. So you now write x minus 3 is equal to zero. Therefore, x is equal to plus 3. Also, x plus 1 is equal to 0, therefore, x is equal to minus 1. So, x is either equal to plus 3 or minus 1. It cannot be both of them at the same time. So, that is our final answer. 
So let's move to example number two now. So example two. Factorize, factorize x square minus 4x plus 3 is equal to 0. Factorize x square minus 4x plus 3 is equal to 0. So just like I said earlier or just like we've been doing, you're going to look for two numbers whose product is 3 and whose sum is minus 4. Product here means that you're going to multiply the two numbers and you get 3 and when you add the two numbers up you get minus 4. So the numbers are let's say minus 3 and minus 1. So let's verify minus 3 times minus 1 you will get plus 3 and minus 3 minus 1 you will get minus 4 so it verifies our equations now let's, let's fit them in now you now create a bracket so you now have x minus 3 x minus 1 okay x minus 3 x minus 1 if you multiply this out you're going to get the original equation okay now let's equate all these to zero you now have x minus 3 is equal to zero therefore x is equal to plus 3 x also minus 1 is equal to zero therefore x is equal to plus 1 all right let's move to example number three now all right example number three factorize x square minus 10x plus 9 is equal to 0 factorize x square minus 10x plus 9 is equal to 0 so let's look for two numbers whose product is 9 and whose sum is minus 10 10 two numbers whose product is 9 and whose sum is minus 10. Now the two numbers are minus 9 and minus 1. Okay, let's verify. Minus 9 times minus 1 is equal to plus 9. And minus 9 minus 1 is equal to minus 10. So that verify our factors. Now let's create the brackets. So you now have x here and x here. You now have minus 9 and minus 1. All this is equal to 0. Now it means that each of these brackets will also be equal to 0. So if you multiply these elements out in the bracket, you will get the expression at the top x square minus 10x plus 9 so let's finally solve the problem x minus 9 is therefore equal to 0 therefore x is equal to plus 9 similarly x minus 1 is equal to 0 therefore x is equal to plus 1 all right, example number four now. Example four. Example four says that factorize x into 2x plus 1 equal to 10. Factorize x into 2x plus 1 is equal to 10. So the first thing you do with expressions or equations like this is to multiply the bracket out. So you now say x times 2x will give you 2x squared x times plus 1 will give you plus x is equal to 10. Now let's bring this equation to 0. So 2x squared plus x minus 10 is equal to 0. All I did was to move this 10 from the left right hand side to the left hand side and it becomes moves from positive to negative. 
So finally, our equation is 2x squared plus x minus 10 is equal to 0. Now, this is a special equation, okay? Our rule of two numbers whose product is minus 10 and whose sum is, minus, is plus 1 may not apply here because x squared has a coefficient of 2. And so here you're going to be testing out numbers until you get, you finally get the factors. I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. Because here we have x has, x squared has a coefficient of 2. And so the general rule of two numbers whose product is minus 10 and whose sum is plus 1 may not generally apply here. So here we're going to be testing out numbers. But the numbers here that will fit into this factorization are plus 5 and minus 2 and minus 2. So let's see. Let's create the bracket. You have 2x and x. And let's fit in the plus 5 and the minus 2 all these equal to 0 okay so let's multiply it out 2x times x you get 2x times x you get 2x square 2x times minus 2 you have minus 4x 5 times x you get plus 5x and 5 times minus 2 you have minus 10 all these equal to zero. So finally you have 2x squared minus 4x plus 5 you have my plus x you have plus x minus 10 equal to zero. So the factors are correct. It's 2x plus 5 and x minus 2. So our factors are 2x plus 5 and x minus 2 which is equal to 0. So of course you know that 2x plus 5 is equal to 0. So here it means that 2x is equal to minus 5. So divide both sides by 2, divide by 2, so 2 we cancel 2. So x is equal to minus 5 over 2. x therefore is equal to x is equal to minus 5 over 2 which is equal to minus 2 and half okay now the second equation x minus 2 is equal to 0 so therefore x is equal to plus 2 all right let's move to example number 5 now all right example 5 example 5 says that x square minus 4x minus 12 is equal to 0 okay and here the coefficient of x squared is 1 and so our rule our general rule is going to work out here so we look out for two numbers whose product is minus 12 and whose sum is minus 4 two numbers so the numbers are minus 6 and plus 2 minus 6 and plus 2. Now let's verify. Minus 6 times 2 minus 6 times 2 is minus 12. Now minus 6 plus 2 is equal to minus 4 or plus 2 minus 6 is plus 4. So let's bring out the bracket. So you now have x here and x here. You now have minus 6 and plus 2 all this is equal to 0. So x x minus 6 is equal to 0. Therefore, x is equal to plus 6. The second element in the bracket, x plus 2 is equal to 0. Therefore, x is equal to minus 2. So final answer, x is plus 6 and x is minus 2. x can be equal to plus 6 
x can be minus 2. x cannot be both of them, but it must be one of them. So let's go to example number 6 now. Example 6. Example 6 says that x squared minus 2x minus 8 is equal to 0. So here we have coefficient of x is equal to 1. So our rule, our general rule is going to work out here. So let's look for two numbers that you multiply and the product is minus 8. And when you sum them up, you have minus 2. So that those numbers are minus 4 and plus 2. So let's verify minus 4 times 2 is equal to minus 8 and minus 4 plus 2 is equal to minus 2. Okay, let's create our bracket. You have x here, you have x here, minus 4 and plus 2 is equal to 0. All right, it means that x minus 4 is equal to 0. Therefore, x is equal to plus 4. x also plus 2 is equal to 0. Therefore, x is equal to minus 2. So that is it for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel.